sponsored by Squarespace. These are mind-blowing Japanese package designs that you may have not even known existed. So this video got me pretty excited because it's something that I wanted to share with all of you for quite some time but just didn't ever do it. Japan has some of the most clever and should I say ingenious product packaging that I've ever seen and I wanted to spend some time in this video and bring some of it to light because I've been in Japan for so many years and some of these product designs I'm just finding out just recently. So yeah I think some of these might blow your mind as they blew my mind as well. But before I start like always if you want to see what I'm doing on the daily check out my Instagram account if you want to help support the channel channel, check out the Japan merch, and if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, then check out my Discord community. Alright, let's do this! Vacuum sealed bottles. So this is quite ingenious and probably one of my more favorite ones in this whole lot and it has to do with this soy sauce bottle. If you look at it, it just looks like a regular soy sauce bottle. It doesn't look any different. So what's so special about this bottle is that it has like a air vacuum system built in. There's actually a pouch in here. You can't really see it right now, but it prevents air from actually contacting any of the soy sauce, which keeps it fresh for 90 days. So basically when you squeeze out the soy sauce like this, what you'll usually have is you'll have air coming back in if you don't have this type of bottle. But what's unique to this particular soy sauce is if you look at the top here, you can see like the main hole where the soy sauce comes out and then you have two holes here at the top and one of the holes connected to the bag and then you have the other hole connected to the bottle. So basically as you use the soy sauce, then the bag gets smaller and smaller well, the bag itself doesn't get smaller and smaller <laughs> and the air leaves. <laughs> this is I'm having so much trouble trying to explain this technology. I hope I don't. Okay, here's all the air coming back in. But there's a bag right there. Half of it is empty. So basically all of the air is getting sucked back in and it's going all inside of the bottle but not into the bag. So the soy sauce never touches any air, which is pretty amazing. I think this is general, like probably common knowledge for people in Japan. I mean, I'm sure you knew for 10 years, but again, this video is to share with people all of the stuff that I am learning here in Japan. What's also interesting, it's not just soy sauce. They've kind of expanded their lines. So this is also in like mirin, which is like a, a cooking liquid. <laughs> it's a cooking liquid. Well, there you go. This is pretty awesome and just keeps everything super fresh for 90 days. The hidden but maybe not so hidden cup noodle sticker. So cup of noodles. You would think that this design couldn't get any better. They have reinvented, or should I say, improved, innovated on the cup of noodles. You know, I always say cup o noodles, but it's just cup noodles. But it's like saying... Yeah, I have no good examples. <laughs> okay, so basically you have your standard cup of noodles. You open it up like so, and then you'd pour all the hot water in, and you always get this lid that would be kind of like popping open. The ingenious thing is at the bottom here, it has a little label that comes with it. Let's take this, tape it down like that. So it comes with its own tape, which is ingenious. Someone should have thought of this a long, long time ago. When do you think they came out with this? Like how long ago? As far as I remember, it's there. So it's always been here? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't eaten cup noodles in a long time. I've never used this ever. Like we always put a fork or something on it. We never, is this to the brand, like specific to the brand? Yes, brand. Makes oh. Other brands don't make it. I seriously don't think they have this in the States. Really? Or just like, we've been doing it all wrong like my entire life. Like I never knew this existed. We should have like explosions every time like. The two in one sauce packet. All right, this one is an oldie but goodie. It is the ketchup and mustard packet. You can see it's all in one and it is so, so useful. You can just get your sauce all in one go. Do you hate me? This is like frozen. <laughs> it's like a cold hot dog. I didn't want you to get a stomachache. Okay, well. You know, it's actually pretty cool. This bag itself comes in a microwavable bag, like microwave mo okay this. Oh, this is hot because I just re-micro it. Look at that. Let me just show you how simple this is. You ready? Okay. Okay. 
I didn't do the best job. So there you go. You have the mustard and the ketchup, but I'll do it again on B-roll so it looks a little bit better. You can see the mustard and the ketchup from the plastic pouch. Easy as that. And you have a very nice juicy dog with ketchup and mustard. They should make it with like different sauce, huh? Like yeah. Consider. Maybe like mayonnaise and ketchup or barbecue sauce. Like avocado yeah. and salsa. Oh, okay. The first Kambini to do this wins. The built-in tray. So this next one is one of those things that I feel like they should have been like doing long, long time ago. It just seems so natural, but it's like they still don't do this a lot. So this is a tray built into the package or a package built into the tray. They're both. It's, it's, it's all the same. The way this whole thing works is it's kind of in a weird like, triangle shape. You open it, you pull it apart like this. And hopefully I don't spill everything. But it turns into a tray. You have the cartilage, good to go. And then you can just go, cheers, Michael. Another good thing about this is you can just microwave it as is. Yeah, I guess you don't have to, you know, wash any plates or anything like that. Just throw this away and you're done. So like simple, easy. I've had a friend before. They will take a potato chip bag and they'll just like cut a hole at, like what on the side. That? That's an interesting what way to eat that? potato yeah. chips. Before we continue on, like always, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video, Squarespace. If you all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, we use Squarespace to build our Tokyo Zebra website. Here are just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Whether you're starting your passion project or building a business, Squarespace has all the tools to get it done while also looking ultra sleek and professional at the same time. They support numerous portfolios and gallery designs which you can customize and even password protect so the right people see your work. Use its fully integrated blogging tools and commenting features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes to help engage your community. And my favorite, built-in analytics to see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. So go to squarespace.com today for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. All right, bring on the next product. Microwave ready packages. So this one, Maiko really loves. In fact, she buys it for herself quite often. It's one of those packages that is super simple. Basically, this is what you get on the shelf. It is just a plastic pouch. This one is super, super useful because you can just put this entire package as is straight from the shelf into the microwave and it will cook inside of the bag. The way this one works is a little hole right here is for steam. So it like cooks in the bag itself as as it cooks, the steam will come out right here and will just kind of dissipate and it'll cook your food. So when you're ready to go, you just open it up here. At the end of the day, do you use a bowl? I don't. Instruction says you're supposed to pour it into a bowl. Yeah. But you don't necessarily have to. That's why I buy this because I get lazy at night after tiring work. Yeah. Just eat it straight from the pouch. Yeah, 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 yeah. All these other types too. They're like different brands. This one is Meiji. This one is from Knorr. Oh, it's also Ajinomoto, this one. <laughs> well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you buy something like this? Double notch bags for our pleasure. This next one is also pretty cool. Basically, you think it's like your regular pack. At the top, you have your like standard notch right here. You open it up. You can see that the quail eggs are just at the top right here. You just like eat the quail egg. Once you get towards the bottom, then you try to like stick your hands in here and it gets kind of way deep in there and you gotta like your fingers get all messy. So if you look closely, they have a second notch. So you can rip it open just like this. Boom, you are back at the head of the class. You are on top and you have all of your goodies ready to go. Yeah, it's really great. It's really like convenient, right? Like I don't see why other packages don't do this. It's just... A lot of snacks do it. A lot of Otsumami do it. I think yeah. it's getting pretty popular you would think you know just to make it easier for the consumer like that's the whole point of this whole like thing is just that just little ideas or like little innovations that make eating or consuming these products just so much easier what's also nice is like the things that you're supposed to keep a lot of them like the little like gumdrops or like little candies these days in japan they're all like built in ziploc uh, yeah. Like, it's frustrating when he doesn't have it, which is rare. Like I was looking at the whole entire candy section and they're all like Ziploc bag. 
the pudding notch. So a lot of people don't know about this. In fact, I didn't know about it until Michael told me. So everyone loves pudding or pudding here in Japan. It's kind of one of those like childhood favorites that they grow up with. You know, if you ever go to a restaurant, then they actually have this upside down and you have caramel on the top. This one, you can see that the caramel is at the bottom and the pudding is at the top. Little did I know that this little guy here is the key to all of this and what happens is if you were just to open this up, obviously it doesn't fall, but you break it open, introduces air in the case itself once you break this open and pudding will fall down flat perfectly onto your plate. Let's see if I can do this in front of the camera. Break this right here, boom. Now that the air has been introduced, you can see, just gotta squeeze it like so, and boom, pop down just like a fancy restaurant. The refill bags that got me hooked. What separates these new type of refills here in Japan, this is like shaped in an interesting way. This part right here is designed to hook into the bottle itself so that you don't have as much spillage and it goes straight into the bottle. Like sometimes you'll like be pouring, it'll just kind of like go all over the place. Whereas these ones are made to just like kind of lock into place and stay attached to the bottle while you're pouring. So it just makes it so much easier. So let me just try to open this up right now comes open like that and you just pour it in like this and as it drips it is perfectly being poured and it kind of all hooks in place there you go all done filled up and nothing was spilled they do have a tube built into here that just helps everything pour out and what's nice is like they have this for like every refill nowadays here in japan this one here this is a softener different shape but you can see that again it just hooks into place yeah it just makes it super simple and i just love how the product has been designed the frozen singles. All right, so frozen food, anyone? This looks like your ordinary frozen package, but it is a little bit different. And see, the frozen treats come in little packages. What's really cool is that they come and you can rip it open just like that. Cook one nugget at a time. So, you know, I think a lot of Japanese people, they prefer to eat one chicken nugget at a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they have in. <laughs> This is often used for making bentos. They kind of pack them individually, so you can just kind of rip out one and cook it just like that. Six chicken nuggets is kind of... Like, <laughs> I'm just so used to growing up like with that Costco mindset, so you get like a 20 pound bag of chicken nuggets from the freezer section. <laughs> You're like a million chicken nuggets in like this big like Ziploc bag. I don't even know if it's Ziploc, it's just like a big bag. Here in Japan, you get like individually packed chicken nuggets. Similar thing with this mint katsu comes apart just like that so basically like if you wanted to make a bento you would just take these two heat them up and then you're good to go with the bento what's so great about this is you have no time in the morning moms don't have time in the morning yeah and like you don't usually cook each single dish every morning so you just pop this in a microwave but and you don't have to like put it in a tiny tray and wrap it that's like pain in the ass yeah just like rip, 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 and then yeah, 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 pop yeah, it yeah, in, yeah. and then you can make the bento for your kid. Yeah, it's perfect for mothers, single and married. Busy moms. I know some moms that aren't so busy. Well, depends on how you're getting busy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.